Uh, today I'm working on the base for the CNC machine and I was able to get all the structural components out of the leftovers of the Baltic birch that we bought. Uh, originally there were two sheets and uh, we still got a little bit left over. The only thing I did purchase it extra was one 4x4 four four that was 10 feet long right here and this is what the uh, wheels are going to be screwing into so this thing is mobile but um, you can go ahead and skin it if you want with plywood this is going to be an open base for right now uh, of course you'll have to buy extra for that but if you didn't want to do that you'd have everything you needed out of the first two sheets I decided to go ahead and start the color scheme on it as you can see it's green same as the rest of my tools in here for the most part so it's all going to match when it's done you don't have to do that but provides two things one it looks pretty cool and second of all uh, this is steel so it can rust so it's going to help out with that and also the wheels that we're going to use are five inch locking casters so this is going to give the, the base a nice little height uh, should be around 36 inches tall or so so countertop height and all four of the wheels are going to lock and that's pretty much it for right now now that all the parts were cut for the base it's time to assemble so what I'm doing here is uh, just giving you a quick overview of, of how the legs go together and I've chosen to use dowels to get all the parts together um, you could use pocket screws, dowels, butt joints, however you wanted to do it uh, dowels for me yeah, I like the way that uh, everything fits together tight and uh, flush and it makes assembly real quick so a little bit extra time to set it up but well, once you go ahead and do it it goes together real nice so the pieces just interlock together it's a nice tight, tight fit everything's nice and flush and uh, it's going to go together quick on the base so the base is going to have a pretty good height uh, countertop height as well as I'm looking for 5 inch wheels there for the bottom so we'll go ahead and get those attached and I'll show you how I put together the leg real quick okay so we're going to put together the leg real quick what we're going to do is just glue right here in the middle in the joint and all I did was just grab a couple pieces of tape and uh, put them underneath the boards to hold it together while I do this it just acts like a hinge and uh, you don't need to go crazy with the tape there's going to be a little bit of glue spill out but that's okay I'll show you why and this is the leg I did go ahead and cut a notch a little chamfer right here and I marked it with two axes to know what side goes where just so I don't screw it up the most important thing is when you're putting this together that everything's flush all these things were cut to the same size so you want to make sure that everything is tight on the corners everything's flush there this is the same size as this piece and again two axes to cut down the middle that's going to go right here and the reason we got the cut there is for the glue squeeze out in the corner there so it's not gonna it'll sit flush against it at a 90 degree angle go ahead and just apply a little pressure flip it over apply a little pressure make sure everything is lined up right and I'm going to take a two inch finish nail and just shoot some nails into it okay oh, moving a little too quick Once you got everything where it needs to be, go ahead and shoot a nail into it. I'm using a 2 inch finish nail. Then flip it, repeat on the other side. And I'm not going to bother using clamps or anything the glue in a little bit of time plus the nails will set everything up this is Brad's inch and a quarter I'm just going to shoot it through the corner of the ply here you can take off the tape we're done with that and the last step is you got a little bit of a gap here that's fine what we're going to do is just grab a screwdriver a thick one preferably and burnish that edge. So you're just going to come along here and just roll that edge over. It'll smush everything together and give the appearance of a perfect joint. 
you don't want anything sharp anyways that you're going to bump into. And after you've gone and done that, just grab some scrap sandpaper you got laying around. And go ahead and clean that edge up. Not a little bit of glue that spilled out. The dust coming off this will fill that joint. Anything that's left, you can just use a little bit of a filler when you go to paint the leg. And that's it. You got your leg. So here's the first part of the base getting glued up, actually already glued up, and um, doing the long sides first. It's a lot easier to do the long sides first than uh, go and clamp the small sides together. Anyways, they're long enough that I had to use some pipe clamps. So what I did is I just laid the two big base parts in there, and then I used the dowels and some glue, connected it all together, put it in the pipe clamps, clamped it tight, let it sit for about 10 minutes, let it set up, and I flipped it over up on its ends how it's sitting now and shot some uh, finishing nails into it, a whole bunch of them. And uh, I also went ahead and used some scrap to put some glue blocks in each of the corners there and brad nailed those in from the front and the sides. So uh, lots of glue, dowels and some nails got this thing together. It'll hold tight, no problems. Uh, once we put the sides on we'll go ahead and put corner bracing at the 45 degree angle and uh, this thing won't go anywhere. So that's it for now. Let's get the rest of it done. Alright, now that the two long sides are built for the stand, we can go ahead and uh, put it all together. I've got the two pieces laying on the grounds in the, in the right spot for where they're going to go. And what I'm going to do is just glue those up, clamp it all together, and doing the same exact thing, nail it, add the glue blocks. And then we have the cross bracing that has to go in here. So I got four pieces and uh, so far the 3D plans that I drew out and everything all the cuts have been right on um, but those I left a little bit long the cross bracing just because this is one of those areas where once you get it all glued together before I cut it the final length I'm going to set it over here in the corners and run it straight across and uh, just sneak up on it and that way there's not going to be any mistakes. As you can see right here I've got some lines drawn on all the sides with the center line and the X where the corresponding um, end of the wood is going to be as it runs parallel across here. This is going to provide the support or more support for the machine to sit on when it's all said and done. But let me go ahead and get this glued up and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Well the base is all put together now and I uh, got the corner blocks in on all the corners and I pulled it square and um, I'm just going to let it sit up actually overnight before I try to mess around with it anymore since it's so big let the glue dry pretty good and I'll come back and put in the corner bracing the cross braces and the wheels alright that's it for this one